Hello everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Shantae Half Genie Hero. This is the new Shantae game from Way Forward. I previously did uh, Pirate's Curse on the channel before. It's our action adventure, a little bit of Metroidvania platform games uh, with really, really nice art. Oh, interesting. Oh, we can play these different characters. Ah, oh, they must be unlocked, of course. Alright, so that's uh, main storyline. This must be like DLC in the future. That's obviously Risky Boots. Uh, but yeah, this actually went on Kickstarter, I believe. Um, it was the first one they've actually done technically in HD. But yeah, I played the demo a while ago and I'm pretty excited to get started with it. Oh, just some creepy whispers, you know. That's... Is there anything in my, uh, in my house now? Boy, the, the backgrounds look really nice. Maybe we'll just go outside. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, good old island. So this is us, of course. If you're not familiar with the series, this is Shantae. She's half genie. Usually uses her hair as a weapon. There's a lot of weird friends. Has a knack for dancing. Oh, hi there. Uncle Mimic. Oh, there's like a trap door there. Yeah. Sure, let's just jump down the trap door. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, we can do our crouch too. Push boxes by a chance now. At least not that box. The new art is quite pretty. Hey! Oh my! <laughs> Alright. Bats and fire do not mix. Little devil bats for that matter. There we go. Yeah, we'll let you guys come down here to me. They are pretty cute. They're like little cat bat devils. I can't actually directly attack them right now, so just lure them into this fire. I actually did a really good job when the first one kind of automatically goes into it. Huh? Some sort of hot spring? With creepy whispers, yeah. Daughter of the Genies, that's me. Oh, okay. Hello, Mystical Spirit. Messenger from the Genie Realm. Great danger! Oh, good. Agent of Darkness. Wonderful. Corrupt our magic. Reign Supreme! We'll see about that. No, oh, it's the daughter of genies. Only you have the power to do this. Yeah, how? I like the bold on how. Follow your heart as you always have. Alright, sure, we can try that. Oh, that's right, your mother is the genie. Hmm. Conveniently silent now, spirit. Oh, hi there. Yes, you are our weird, somewhat creepy save friend. Oh, it was all a dream, apparently. No more comic books in bed. 
whole tub of cookie dough ice cream. Yeah, that would probably probably be an issue. All right, so this is us. We can. Oh, it's kind of a wild panning effect there. Uh, sure. Save again. So this is our save, folk. Uh, can we go backwards? Item shop. Customizing abilities. Okay. This is our dance move. So that'll be used later for transformations, essentially. Hey there. Yeah, I would say it was a pretty weird dream. It's our adventure uncle. Oh, goodness. New inventions are never a good thing. Hmm. Part on back order. Send Bolo to the item shop to pick it up. Yeah, he's not too good at actually handling things. Sure, we'll go get it. Hey there. Our gallery is closed right now. Huh. Hey, kiddo. Are you a Medusa? I, that's kind of rude, I must say. This is our friend Sky. She runs the hatchery. I believe Bolo is her husband? Or is it her brother? <laughs> that's. Those are very different. I actually can't remember now. It's one of the two. Supposedly he went to the bathhouse. That could probably only mean trouble. Oh, we can actually break these. Is there any over here? Yeah, might as well grab some money. It looks like, um... The different color gems are all the same value. The, uh, the music in this, you are a very large person. Yes, that is our subscreen. Looks like we'll have dances, relics, key items. Andy. Uh, what was I saying here, this guy? Oh yeah, saves progress. There was something else I was going to say though, and now I've totally forgotten about it. Hey there. All right, this is our item shop. Be open for business in just a few minutes. It's probably literal in terms of game time. Actually, it looks like we can switch uh, items on the fly or spells or dances on the fly. You are a guard. I can, in fact, whip monsters with my hair. Oh, so it's gem size. Looks like what uh, determines it. So where is... Oh, we walked right past the bathhouse. Hey, Bolo. How's it going? You causing trouble? <laughs> this isn't quite the same shop. Yeah, what about her? Oh, yeah. I think Bolo is definitely Sky's brother. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a creep, Bolo. Come on now. Yeah, I, I guess we'll handle it. Hey, lady. The tranquil sounds and scents of hardcore white knuckle full throttle max relaxation. So this is kind of like a fortune teller, I suppose. Very seat. Drooling buffoon statue. That's uh, not a statue, actually. So she'll tell us where to go. <laughs> Slow drip from its slack jaw is so relaxing. That's not a statue, it's just a creepy dude. Ah, <sighs> oh, Bolo. That's right, I think last time Sky, uh... 
This guy's boyfriend got petrified. Hey there. I sure am. Got it. Stuck to this box of hard drives. That's... <laughs> don't, don't put magnets by hard drives. Please, that is very... That's actually a really good joke. Don't do that. That's, that's bad for everyone involved. Oh, well, if I say no... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I have the part for you. There you go. Yeah, it's got a little bit of hard drive stuck to it. I'm kind of concerned what, what the actual heck is that? Something to help you defend the town. The dynamo. <laughs> no, not dino meow. Shantae's a little ditzy sometimes. Contraption from the old world. Oh, okay. I guess that's gonna spin. Oh, it's still generator electricity. Hmm. That would be nice, yeah. Hmm, what else is missing? Dynamo blueprints. Yeah, that's that's kind of important. Uh, yeah, that that was in your dream, Shantae. Oh, that's one of Risky Boots' henchmen. The Tinker Bats. Oh dear. Yeah, that's that's probably bad. All right, we gotta head to Sky's Hatchery ASAP here. Well, so you'll have to let me know too uh, in the comments. Make sure the audio is good because game has a lot of good music. That's what I was gonna say before. Music is done by uh, Jay Kaufman, always known as Vert. He used to do a lot of uh, arrangements and remixes. Now he does music for a whole ton of indie games, and it's pretty much always fantastic. None of your birds are big enough. Oh boy. Um... Oh goodness. That's... How did you... Oh, we got a whistle. I perhaps we can use wrench whenever we feel like. Huh. Time to go. They look so happy despite the fact that the town is on fire. Yet yeah, several seconds is probably not long enough. Oh, so this must be like the world map. Oh, that's really cool, actually. I like that. Sure, we'll go travel to Main Street. We'll probably at least do this area, or at least part of this area. We'll save in between here. Yeah, what about that bird whistle? Alright, cool. I guess we can just use that whenever we feel like. Nice. Very handy. You got it. Silky split ends of justice. Oh. Uh. Wow, that's that's not very nice. I believe she has usually has a jealousy thing going on. All right, first action stage. Okay. Angry pirates. 
So you can see health in the uh, upper left. Oh, geez, that's, a oh my goodness. Okay, so I can actually destroy that too. And this definitely seems like content ID fodder, but that's fine. Uh, where's that gonna land? Oh, that, I like that tower. I need to stop getting so close to those. Hopefully some of these drop some hearts for me. That one did, nice. All right, so we can jump. We don't have, oh, these are falling platforms. We don't have any sort of double jump or anything yet. We might get something of that nature later on. We do have damage values. I don't remember if the previous games had damage numbers like that or not. Can we, oh, can, we cannot climb. But can I push these? Okay, there we go, nice. I want to collect as much money as I possibly can. I'm sure we'll need it eventually. Fortunately, these guys only take one hit apiece. Oh, that fire is moving. That is terrifying. Hey, buddy. Fortunately, they're not too bright. They're just kind of bumbling pirate henchmen. They'd be kind of cute if they weren't so creepy. I'm assuming this boss guy's like, hope that platform comes back or I'm in trouble. There we go. Nice. That was actually a ton of money. And we don't have any sort of experience or anything. Just uh, kind of more Zelda style in terms of enemies are just there for money and obstacles. Uh, wait a minute. Can I swim? Oh, I can swim. I did not realize that. Good to know. I see you guys. So it looks like we've got uh, eight health, judging by the amount of damage I just took. I just took one damage, took away a quarter. I believe those are full hearts as well, so. It's pretty lenient early on, which is good because I'm actually kind of getting my butt kicked here. I wonder how often, or like, how many of these guys can pop out of one of these things. If I, could, if I really wanted to, I could just sit here and farm money. Alright. Also, you can see in the background, things are not going so well back there. Look like there's anybody around though, fortunately. Nice. 120 coins so far, or gems, or rupees, or whatever you want to call them. 120 monies. Oh dear. I like this part of town. Alright, we get some moving platforms here. Can I jump through them? Climb these chains. Oh! You. Can I rescue you? Hi there. You look like you might be important. But how do I get up there? That's very curious. I can break these blocks. Yeah. I must be able to get up there later somehow. That's interesting. I can't uh, whip up or anything. Oh, there's another... Yeah, we must get like a double jump or a float or something because there's all sorts of stuff up top that I can't reach. Well, we can crawl. That's actually really good to know. You get a little squeaky and crawl. I don't think there's going to be anything hidden in these blocks, but it doesn't hurt to look. Previous games did have some hidden passages. Hey, fish sign. Walked right into that one. You guys coming out here? Oh, they're trying to bust down the door. All right, up we go. Uh, I'm gonna go left first to grab these. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be some sort of a double jump or climbing or something of that nature. I do like these wiggle, of course, I say that as I manage to mess it up. I like that they wiggle before they, uh, they go back and kind of get a good timing on it. I would pay attention, stop yapping. There we go. Nice. 
They're also like perfectly timed just to kind of go with the flow. The games have always been like really, really well designed in terms of just being able to just go. You know, press right and make your way through a stage. Do you want that gem? I'm determined to find some sort of secret here. So those little green jars, I'm assuming, are for magic bar. Um, which, obviously, we don't have any magic right now, but we will eventually. At least I don't think we can use just a basic dance. Might try that. Yeah, you know, all the pirates are Tinker Bats, which means it's probably the work of our arch nemesis. That is one hell of a boat. Risky boots. I thought so. Always a troublemaker. Queen of the Seven Seas, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what did you take exactly? Oh, the blueprint! Why do you want those? Yeah, but you need to be able to know how to build it, you fool. Part Omni Organic, partially Titanic, Ocean Optional Tinker Slug. <laughs> yeah, you probably didn't think about that acronym, did you, Risky Boots? <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. Obviously, the humor in the game is uh, somewhere between witty and goofy. Yeah, don't, don't call it that. <laughs> Alright, well, oh my goodness. I hit it? Oh, okay, there are chains here. Oh, there's a bell, too. What does the bell do? The bell gives me explosive barrels. I assume... Nice, okay. Boy, did some of these guys drop uh, health, I wonder? Because I'm actually taking a lot of damage. A lot of the uh, the bosses in Shantae games are typically pretty epic in scale. Nice. All right. Probably one more round of that if I had to guess. Oh boy. Okay. Safe. There we go. Oh jeez. Fire's bad. I gotta get up there and knock this off. Hopefully this is the last hit, because I'm actually quite a bit of trouble here. Nope, still need another one. Oh, this is bad news. Might actually lose to the first boss here. There we go, got it. I'm not sure if it's a timing thing, or if it does need multiple hits. Got it, nice. Sorry, Tinker Slug. You're kind of adorable, but you had a terrible name. Yeah, if you could give those back, that'd be swell. Am I, though? Hey, there we go. Do you have another boat? Oh, yep, I guess you do. Don't come back. Yeah, she'll be back. Yeah, how about that? First time for everything. Well, that's handy. What the hell is that? Oh, nice. Achievement, don't call it that. Well, I suppose that's where we'll wrap up for today. See if there's any sort of little story sequence here, and then, uh, whoa. Welcome to the Genie Realm. Take this transformation and enter the light. Pardon? 
Oh, it's the monkey transformation! Use this power to scale walls. Alright, monkey time. So, now, well this answers a lot of those questions, now we can climb walls as an adorable little monkey. Can't attack in this form though. But we can climb up walls and travel quite quickly. So that'll be pretty important. This kind of goes back to the uh, the earlier games uh, where transformations were more of a focus. I don't believe we had any transformations in uh, Pirate's Curse. But she did. Yeah, we get your blueprints for whatever contraption this is. Hey, buddy. Oh, pardon? Yeah, that's been a running theme. Hey, man. Doing what I can. Yeah, are they really? Negligible fish smell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been paying this whole time. You should get back to work on that. Yeah, let's see if anyone in town needs help. No, well, hopefully someone does. But we'll do this next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, again, leave some comments. Let me know. And uh, if you like the video, click like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon with more Shantae.